Hey guys, I just thought um I'd make a video today. It's been my third day back in school and I am extremely busy. Um, <clears throat> it's like, it was my first day of high school on Wednesday and it's kind of crazy. I have homework every single night. It's in, okay, like, first of all, I have a fairly good, a pretty good work ethic so I have no problem getting homework in on time, but I don't like doing it every day. It's just annoying to me, but that's, I guess, what happens when you take two IB courses and you have an insane teacher. So, um, I might be a little MIA for a while, because I got a lot on my plate, <laughs> um, at the moment. Um, but I will be making some videos, and I figured today I might as well do August favorites before it gets, like, insanely late to the point where I can't do it. Um, it's the second today, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but... Um, not a whole lot of favorites, because when I went camping, I didn't really wear any makeup, and back to school, I could keep a couple basics, which you'll see, and then I just kind of switch up everything, because I don't want to do the same thing every day, because I just, I have an issue with it. I'm so OCD, I kind of have to do something different every day. But, um, um, there's a couple beauty products, skincare, hair care, fragrance, that's pretty much it. Um... And so I'll get started. And the first up is, I don't know if you can even see that, Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend, um, like, shade adjusting foundation. And I don't even know what color this is. Light, which I believe is actually the second lightest. Yeah. And it's like the weirdest thing. I need to shake it down. I'm running out already. I mean, you don't get a whole lot. 28 grams, I don't know, I guess that's decent, but... Um, it's a really good foundation, and it was $4. I've never found a foundation this good from the drugstore. At first, I didn't really like it, but then I kind of grew on it, and now I'm using it almost every day. So this is what it looks like. It's, like, clear, and then if you can tell, there's, like, beads, um, which you kind of squish, and that's where the color comes from. And the gel is just, like, the primer, and it does stay on a fair long time. I, it's not... I don't try a lot of uh, color stay like foundations, long wearing ones, but this long wear is good enough for me. And it matches my skin flawlessly, it makes my skin look like poreless, like it looks like I have no pores. It's really awesome. It's a great feeling on your face. You don't need to set it with powder, although sometimes I'll just put a little translucent powder on. It's It's a great foundation. I totally recommend this for pretty much everyone. For four dollars you can't go wrong. I mean if you don't, don't like it, don't feel the same way, then it's only four dollars, so whatever. Um, the next thing I've only been trying for a couple days um, is a new mascara and this is the Rimmel Sexy Curves. It's just a purple tube even though it's kind of turning up blue. Um, it's, it's an old mascara, not for me, I just bought it, but I've never tried it before and it's just the one like that, which I'm pretty sure you've all seen. <sighs> this is a great mascara. Um, it's one of the best ones I've tried, I'd say. It's right up there to my like no-name brand mascara that I got from Walmart that I love. It's pretty much the same thing. It lengthens, separates, curls. It's not a whole lot of volumizing, but it's, it, it does what I need it to do. And it stays on a pretty long time. I haven't noticed like flaking or anything. And this is only $5 at Walmart, so that was a great buy. Um, something, this is a, like one of my only high-end makeup products here, is this sample of Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes um, Pencil Eyeliner, and this is just in black. I got this from Sephora. It's looking a little dull because I've used it every day in my waterline because it lasts a long time. And that's something I never find in a pencil eyeliner, which is why I tend to avoid them. But I've really been loving this. And I kind of want to get the full size when I'm done, but it'll take me a while. Um, I need to sharpen it tomorrow, though. Um, it's not the blackest. Um, you kind of need to build it up. It doesn't go on opaque on your eye or on my waterline, which is annoying, but it stays. So <laughs> do a couple little back and forth movements if you need to just to get it on there, but it'll, it'll stay on. And I should probably like wipe my hand off before it sticks. That wasn't that smart, because I mean, I'm pretty sure you could all see that it's black. <laughs> Another thing, I ran out of this, as you know, 
and bought a new one. This is my Maybelline Define a Brow. Problem is, I got this in the wrong color. Uh, it's a little dark. When I went to Walmart, they had dark blonde and medium brown. And I went with medium brown, even though I used dark blonde last time. I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference. I don't know if you can tell, like, if it looks bad. Or maybe you can just, like, see my eyebrows. <sighs> I hate translucent eyebrows. So I always fill them in. And you have to be really careful with this, though. That's its downfall. But that's the color. Um, it works. I mean, it's very easy to get too dark. But I'm just happy to have it back. I don't really care. Darker brows, I guess for fall it works, but anyway, I'll live with it. Now, two fragrances. My first one is Christian Dior Hypnotic Poison. If you haven't smelled this, get your ass down to the drugstore and smell this. Holy, it smells so good. It's Apparently, it's meant for like older people, but I really, really don't care. It smells like vanilla and almonds. It was a little bit of musk. Oh my god, it's so good and I got this for my birthday this is the 100 mil size it's a little bit pricey which is why I'm like I would never spend my money on it well maybe I was planning on it but then I told my mom I really wanted it for my birthday so I got that and I am loving it but since it has such a strong scent and I like to layer like body sprays as well I need I needed something a little like light because that is definitely like it steals the show um and I've kind of fallen back in love with my Bath & Body Works Hawaii Coconut. And it's kind of a weird smell together. Because this smells like light coconut pineapple. That's what it smells like to me. It's a super summery scent. But mixed with this, which can totally pull off fall and winter like legit. This is a little bit heavy for summer, but I really don't care. And these two together, they balance each other out. And it smells delish. Um, I always wear perfume to work and for the first time one of the Asian people who work there actually commented and he said it smells really nice and he asked what it was and which is funny because I couldn't really understand what he was saying. I thought he said phone but he said perfume and I'm like oh oops that's embarrassing. Um, now on to skincare. Um, I've, I've had this for a long time but I'm kind of getting back with it. This is my Vino Active Naturals clear complexion foaming cleanser for acne prone skin um with the green cap so you have one for gentle skin too and it's just like foam like insane foam for all you girls who hate getting up early and want to look nice have good makeup decent hair nice clothes um and skincare get a foaming cleanser those cream cleansers take forever for me so I have to put it on to massage it in and then wipe it all off and then I rinse and then wash it off again it takes too much time for me so what I find I like to do is a couple pumps of this all over most of the time it kind of just like disappears anyway and you're left with just a little bit of soap and then you can just quickly wipe it off and you're done like it just it's so quick that it's awesome. And this is a pretty basic cleanser. It doesn't really do anything for acne, as far as I've noticed. It's gentle, just meant for everyday cleaning purposes. Um, so I really like that. And I've been got, getting back to using my Body Shop CB Clarifying Toner for combination oily skin. And I bought a new one. As you can tell, it's almost done, but you can't really tell because there's a label. There we go. Um, Toner is one of the steps that you don't have to do, but I love to do it anyway. Because it feels so good, and you just feel like you can get all your makeup off, clean your pores, and a lot of makeup comes off more with this than with this, or a makeup wipe. So, I wouldn't skip it for the world. <laughs> um, one hair care product I've been back using this is my Herbal Essences Long Term Relationship. Um, leave-in protector and the reason I've been using this is because I really don't want split ends <laughs> I just dyed my hair um, I got some feathers put in the random lime green things um, I have some clip-in extensions and I've been really trying to grow it out there's some actually some dye purple dye in my hair and it's red and it's been abused <laughs> so I really want to keep my ends nice at least um, and I don't know if it completely works for that, but it's nice and conditioning anyway. 
Now I really didn't want to film a separate video for um, my birthday haul because, well, my it's not my birthday yet. My birthday is on the sixth, but I celebrated it like last week, and I did like I didn't get that much, but you'll see why. Um, my last birthday present I got, which is also like my random favorite of this month, is my new coach bag. Hell yes. Now, I hear a lot of people from the States saying, like, how easy it is to get Louis Vuitton and Coach. I don't know if it's still this expensive, but this is not cheap. <laughs> I don't understand. I can see people, like, doing hauls of, like, five Coach bags, and I'm like, what? That's insane. Like, it's it's pricey. I don't know if it's just the people in the States that just have, like, maybe it's just the person who has more money to spend on bags, or it's just they're cheaper there or easier to get, but... This is my favorite. It's so cute. It's so me. It's so like in your face. And as you can tell, I got all my school stuff in here. I didn't even bother taking it out. So I'm going to have to do a what's in my new purse bag. I don't even think I did one to begin with. But I love it. But um, anyway, guys, that is my monthly favorites. And I hope we can do some more videos for you guys. But no guarantees. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye.